दस जून से मणिपुर के दस विपक्ष पार्टी दस लाइक माइंडेड पार्टी इंतजार कर रहे हैं कि वो प्रधानमंत्री से मिलने का उनको अवसर मिले आज हमारे साथ मेघचंद्र सिंह जी जो मणिपुर कांग्रेस पार्टी के अध्यक्ष हैं यहां हैं के एस एच बीरेन्द्र सिंह जी जो जनता दल यूनाइटेड के अध्यक्ष हैं वो यहां मौजूद हैं एल थोरेन सिंह जो सीपीआई स्टेट काउंसिल के सेक्रेटरी हैं यहां हैं चौथे नंबर मैं गिनाऊंगा क्षेत्र नायम शांता जो सीपीएम स्टेट काउंसिल के सदस्य हैं थोकचोम इनोचा सिंह जो तृणमूल कांग्रेस के कन्वीनर हैं मणिपुर के वो यहां मौजूद हैं थिंगजाम विश्वनाथ सिंह आम आदमी पार्टी के कोऑर्डिनेटर यहां मौजूद हैं के एच ज्ञानेश्वर सिंह ऑल इंडिया फॉरवर्ड ब्लॉक मणिपुर यहां मौजूद हैं सोराम इबोयामा सिंह प्रेसिडेंट एनसीपी मणिपुर यहां मौजूद हैं टी देवानंद सिंह प्रेसिडेंट शिवसेना उद्धव ठाकरे मणिपुर यहां मौजूद हैं और के मनोरंजन सिंह आरएसपी मणिपुर यहां मौजूद हैं तो दस पार्टियां कांग्रेस जनता दल यूनाइटेड सीपीआई सीपीएम तृणमूल कांग्रेस आम आदमी पार्टी ऑल इंडिया फॉरवर्ड ब्लॉक एनसीपी शिवसेना यूबीटी और रेवोल्यूशनरी सोशलिस्ट पार्टी आरएसपी ये दस पार्टियां ने दस तारीख को प्रधानमंत्री को लिखित में एक खत भेजा था कि हम आपसे मिलना चाहते हैं आज भी वो इंतजार कर रहे हैं और हमारी आशा है और ये लोग सब उम्मीद कर रहे हैं कि प्रधानमंत्री बीस तारीख को अपनी विदेश यात्रा में जाएंगे पर उसके पहले उनको कुछ समय मिलेगा इन दस पार्टियों से मिलने का ये यह यहां दो चार दिन से रुके हुए हैं और 20 तारीख तक यहीं रहेंगे मैंने पहले आपको कहा था कि 18 जून 2001 यानी कि ठीक 22 साल पहले आज 17 जून है कल 18 जून रहेगा ठीक 22 साल पहले मणिपुर जल रहा था अखबारों के हेडलाइन अगर आप देखेंगे 19 तारीख के आपको खबर मिलेगी इम्फाल जल रहा था विधानसभा जलाया गया स्पीकर का बंगला जलाया गया चीफ मिनिस्टर सेक्रेटेरिएट जलाया गया और करीब तीन साढ़े तीन महीने के लिए ब्लॉकेड रहा 18 जून 2001 पहली बार मणिपुर जला तब के प्रधानमंत्री श्री अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी थे सभी पार्टियों ने मांग की प्रधानमंत्री जी से कि हम आपसे मिलना चाहते हैं 24 जून 2001 मैं पढ़कर सुनाऊंगा ये पीआईबी का रिलीज है अब तक पीआईबी ने इसको निकाला नहीं है अपने वेबसाइट से आप भी जा सकते हैं ये पीआईबी 
24 जून 2001 हेडलाइन है ऑल पार्टी डेलीगेशन फ्रॉम मणिपुर मीट्स प्राइम मिनिस्टर 18 जून को मणिपुर जल रहा है छह दिन बाद सर्वदलीय प्रतिनिधि मंडल प्रधानमंत्री से मिलता है छह दिन बाद और ये प्रधानमंत्री कार्यालय से क्या रिलीज आता है मैं आपको पढ़ूंगा एन ऑल पार्टी डेलीगेशन फ्रॉम मणिपुर कॉल्ड ऑन द प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी हियर टुडे यानी कि 24 जून 2001 द डेलीगेशन लीडर सबमिटेड टू हिम अ मेमोरेंडम दे गेव अ डिटेल्ड अकाउंट ऑफ द लेटेस्ट सिचुएशन इन मणिपुर the prime minister gave them a patient hearing dohraunga the prime minister gave them a patient hearing the prime minister referred to the unanimous decision taken at their meeting with the home minister shri lk advani yesterday yani ki 23 june 2001 that various aspects arising out of the cease fire will be reviewed ye cease fire नागाओं से के साथ था और ये जो हिंसा के घटना हुए थे ये नागा सीज फायर समझौतों समझौता से लेकर हुआ था ही रीटेरेटेड द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट एश्योरेंस द टेरिटोरियल इंटेग्रिटी ऑफ मणिपुर विल बी प्रिजर्व अनदर मीटिंग विद द लीडर्स फ्रॉम मणिपुर वुड बी हेल्ड ऑन द एथ ऑफ जुलाई टू by when the home minister would have returned from his tour advani ji bahar ja rahe the desh ke bahar 8 july ko unhone fir se is delegation se mulakat ki the prime minister has appealed to the people of manipur prime minister has appealed to the people of manipur to maintain calm and help the administration in restoring normalcy in the state they should not give any credence to rumors ye pradhan mantri karyalay ki or se ek release tha jo aaj bhi pib archive mein aapko milega ye hai 24 june 2001 hinsa hota raha दंगे होते रहे मणिपुर में शांति वापस नहीं आई 8 जुलाई 2001 और यह भी पीआईबी के आर्काइव से हैं आर्काइव का कुछ कभी कभी फायदा होता है विपक्ष की पार्टियों को 8 जुलाई 2001 को प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स अपील टू द पीपल ऑफ मणिपुर ये प्रेस रिलीज नहीं है ये प्रधानमंत्री का अपील है मणिपुर की जनता को मैं पढ़कर सुनाऊंगा ये खुद प्रधानमंत्री का अपील प्रधानमंत्री कहते हैं 8 जुलाई 2001 को एम पी एंड एम एल एस फ्रॉम ऑल पोलिटिकल पार्टीज फ्रॉम मणिपुर called on the prime minister shri atal bihari vajpayee here today yani ki pradhan mantri 24 june ko milte hain sarvadalliya pratinidhi mandal se aur 8 july ko dusri baar milte hain do baar bola kaat hoti hai pradhan mantri ki following is the text of the prime minister's appeal ye mera shabd nahi hai pradhan mantri ka shabd hai tatkalin pradhan mantri ka shabd hai following is the text of the prime minister's appeal on the occasion i pradhan mantri i express the people grief of the people of the country and my personal grief at the loss of precious innocent lives in manipur पंद्रह लोग मारे गए थे अठारह जून को पंद्रह लोग एज समन हु इज फुल्ली कॉन्शियस ऑफ देयर सेंटिमेंट्स इमोशंस प्रॉब्लम्स एंड ग्रीवेंसेस 
I appeal to the people of Manipur to maintain peace and calm. It shall be the endeavor of my government to ascertain and understand the viewpoint of the people and redress them to the best of our ability through a process of democratic dialogue. I have already assured, I have already publicly assured the people of Manipur and I once again reiterate that the territorial inter integrity of Manipur shall be maintained. I will take the first opportunity to be with you in Manipur. Sri Swami, who was MOS, the, has already interacted with you and brought your problems and grievances to my notice. I also invite various leaders of Manipur to come to, um, uh, to, come to Delhi and meet me personally so that your problems could be discussed in a free and frank manner. In the meantime, we shall review the ceasefire agreement, Naga ceasefire agreement, including the words without territorial limits presently incorporated in the agreement so as to ensure that all doubts about preserving integrity of Manipur and other states of the Northeast are removed. I once again appeal to you to remain calm and help the administration restore normalcy in the state to create a congealian environment for progress and development in Manipur. So, Sathiyo, Pradhan Mantri Atal Bihari Vajpayee Ji, two times they meet. Pradhan Mantri Atal Bihari Vajpayee appeal to them. In 2001, and today, we are sitting here today, दस पार्टियों के अध्यक्ष बैठे हुए हैं, चालीस दिन हो गए हैं, प्रधानमंत्री ने अपनी चुप्पी नहीं तोड़ी है, कोई बयान नहीं, कोई अपील नहीं, कोई संदेशा नहीं, और ये तीन दिन से यहाँ इंतजार कर रहे हैं, और अभी भी उम्मीद करते हैं, अभी भी उम्मीद करते हैं कि 20 तारीख के पहले उसके बाद में प्रधानमंत्री अमेरिका विजिट में व्यस्त हो जाएंगे और इजिप्ट भी जाना है 20 तारीख के पहले इनको एक मौका मिलेगा आज हमारे साथ मणिपुर के तीन ऐसे नेता हैं जो अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी से मिले थे जो जब वो सर्वदलीय प्रतिनिधि मंडल पहली बार 24 जून को मिला था 2001 को यहाँ वो मौजूद हैं और मैं उनसे गुजारिश करूँगा कि वो आपको आपसे बातचीत करें वो करेंगे पर उसके पहले हमारे मणिपुर के जो 15 साल लगातार मुख्यमंत्री रहे हैं इबोबी सिंह जी कुछ बोलेंगे मैं आपको ये भी कहना चाहता हूँ कि हमारे बीच में मणिपुर विधानसभा के दो पूर्व स्पीकर भी यहां मौजूद हैं लोकेश्वर सिंह जी जो मौजूदा एमएलए हैं और हेमोचंद्र सिंह जी जो पांच साल तक स्पीकर रह जाए सभी पार्टियां हैं यहां मौजूद हैं और ये अभी भी इंतजार कर रहे हैं कि वो प्रधानमंत्री का से मिलेंगे उनको एक मेमोरेंडम पेश करेंगे और खुले तौर से वो बात करेंगे कि क्या-क्या और कदम लेने की जरूरत है क्योंकि ये सर के राज्य सरकार बिल्कुल विफल हो गया है ये बिल्कुल साफ हो गया है कि स्टेट गवर्नमेंट से कोई उम्मीदें नहीं रम रख सकते 100 परसेंट फेल हो गया है जो उम्मीदें हैं वो केंद्र सरकार से हैं गृहमंत्री गए हैं गृहमंत्री के जाने के बाद भी कुछ ज्यादा फर्क नहीं देखने को मिला अभी उम्मीदें हैं मणिपुर के लोगों का प्रधानमंत्री पर और हम गुजारिश हम निवेदन करते हैं हम मांग करते हैं कि प्रधानमंत्री जी कांग्रेस को भूल जाइए आपने जवाहरलाल नेहरू को नाम तो मिटा दिया है पर अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी को याद रखिए 
और जो उन्होंने अपील की है 24 जून को और 8 जुलाई को 2001 उससे तो कुछ सीखिए इस डेलीगेशन से मिलिए जनता के नाम पर एक अपील कीजिए मणिपुर की बात कीजिए मन की बात नहीं मणिपुर की बात ताकि फिर से मणिपुर में अमन शांति सद्भावना आ सके मैं पहले इबोबी सिंह जी से गुजारिश करूंगा और उसके बाद में जो तीन हमारे नेता हैं जो अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी जी से मिले थे मैं उनसे गुजारिश करूंगा कि वो आपको संबोधित करें इबोबी सिंह जी friends uh, from the media both electronic and uh, print media jairam ramesh ji and other different like minded 10 political parties presidents state secretaries and uh, some of other our like minded 10 political party leaders last time also i have the privilege for speaking a few words you people are well aware that since may third manipur has already been begin burning till today is the it is still continuing every alternate day or even every day also including honorable union minister of state rajkumar ranjan singh's house also already burn day before the before yesterday and the uh, hue and cry in different relief camps more than 20000 including women and uh, children are taking shelter in the relief camp what is happening you people can imagine easily but till today from honorable prime minister of this country then express anything what is happening there in manipur now what we feel that it is not nice to mention that whether manipur is a part of india or not the question automatically it has arise if it is belongs within india at least honorable prime minister prime minister of this entire country he should have to be express even a single tweet in his mobile so we don't know that's why all these grievances this 10 like minded political party representative we have prepared one memorandum we want peace we are not coming here political lies not for political lies we are not coming here for taking political advantage at least we want peace please help us so enable manipur to restore as early as possible then next step it can be dialogue between the two communities and whom so ever it can be start with the hope that still we hope we will definitely get at least some time within these two three days before honorable prime minister lip this country for foreign tour so with this few word the as jairam ramesh ji already mentioned uh, 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 this one in 2001 what is happening there in 2001 by that time also bjp was ruled this country what is happening there i will not repeat and uh, by that time all political party delegation met 
the then Honorable Prime Minister Atol Biari Baspaiji. We have got opportunity for meeting with him. Few of our Honorable Members are here. What he expressed from among those delegates, here is next to me, former Minister ZDU now, and Dr. Nimai Shalwang will say a few words about the delegation. He has got privilege of meeting the then Prime Minister Tol Bihari Baspaiji. Thank you, friends. Uh, my name is Dr. Nimai Chan Luang. I am a retired professor of medical college. I have been elected to the assembly for five times. I was minister four times. Now I am in the JDU, National Council member. Of course, I was in the Congress also. <laughs> okay. You, everyone knows what happened in Manipur. The violence started on the 3rd of May. Today is the 17th of May. Now it is almost 45 days, 17th of June. Almost 45 days. Loss of lives is more than 120. It, will be, it may be more because many bodies are still not pick up, taken off, and many people are missing. Injury, more than about 400, maybe more. Displacement of more than 60,000 people. See, many people are in the relief camps in Manipur. Many people are taking shelter in the neighboring states like Mizoram, Assam, and many people are in Delhi as well. Many people are there. And uh, burn, burning of about 5,000 houses, homes. Many people have been rendered homeless. And there is loss of personal and government property of both the communities. Now, Honorable Home Minister Sia Mishaji visited Manipur very late. He visited on the 29th of May. That is after 26 days of violence. They were busy in the Karnataka election. I still remember there was some uh, deaths of some persons due to mishap or both mishap in Kerala. During that time, Prime Minister announced, immediately announced, ex gratia of about 5 lakhs. No, 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 Orisha. 5 lakhs in, the, in Kerala. 2 lakhs, subject to correction. Then there was a train accident in Orisha. We are very unhappy. We condole their deaths. Of course, should not happen. Prime Minister immediately rushed within eight hours. Now, 45 days, Prime Minister has not said a single word about Manipur. After the visit of the Home Minister, People were expecting some peace. Even he stayed three days. The BJP, I don't know of national, but Manipur, they are very proud. They said that Home Minister came to Manipur, he stayed three days. Very good. We thank him very much. But there was violence and burning of houses during his three days stay. They could not do anything. After, after the leaving of the Home Minister, violence is still continuing. Even you, friends, you'll be aware that the house of 
the union minister of in manipur was burned down day before yesterday his house was attacked previously also in the same period last night a house was burned down in imphal say about uh, 100 to 200 meters away from the minister's bungalow now the state the government the present government has to totally fail to control the situation they have miserably failed and now people of manipur manipur they have a view and thinking in their some subconscious mind that there is no government in manipur there is no government in manipur central government has appointed constituted a committee known as kariye by the not peace committee uh, unified command under the chairmanship of one retired dgp chrp almost every administration is taken over by him now people are confused whether the administration is run by the chief minister or by the unified command this is a situation now we will not speak too much now because we are waiting for the prime minister's appointment lucky <laughs> okay now these 10 political parties non bjp non non friends of bjp i should say we are against bjp in manipur we have formed a sort of association to work for the people we have uh, done a lot of work in imphal also but of no result so we thought people of manipur wants that we should go to delhi with the prime minister we want the honorable prime minister to intervene and uh, bring a solution and stop the violence immediately stop the violence we have i'm coming i'm coming we have requested for appointment of the prime minister by sending a letter by email on 10 june 2023 and the same copy a hard copy have been submitted to the pmo on the 12 june 2023 representatives of the 10 political parties we are here and we are waiting for the appointment of the honorable prime minister prime minister we are still hoping that honorable prime minister will give appointment to our group before honorable prime minister leaves for his foreign tour as mentioned earlier jairam uh, ramesh ji uh, mentioned about the another incident of violence almost the same this time the violence is between two communities that time was the violence between the government and the public because the uh, ceasefire agreement of naga undergrounds nsn im was extended to manipur people don't like it we the people feel that if the ceasefire is extended to the state of manipur our ter territorial integrity is threatened so this this was the uprising by the people and uh, the that in incident the violence took place only on one day only on one day and uh, that time honorable prime minister atul bihari vajpayee ji took a paid a very very uh, uh, important to that situation actually we know because that day when we met him i was there i was there and uh, when he come out he was coming out in the wheelchair we were told that he he had a knee operation even that even after having the knee operation 
he came out to meet uh, with people, we discussed, and uh, he has taken immediate action to uh, uh, address the grievances of the state of Manipur. So this is the uh, brief. Now we are submitting a memorandum to the Prime Minister that we will not disclose now. Uh, and uh, we are still waiting for the uh, appointment of the Honorable Prime Minister and we will wait for it. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> May I be KSH Biren Singh Ji? Hey, say it. Say it. Two minutes. This is Manipur Janta Dal United ke and that is also in Vajpayee Ji ke delegation. Mein mile Uh, dear friends, uh, I was also a member uh, as an MLA uh, in the meeting uh, convened by the, uh, this uh, former Prime Minister Atrilji. Maybe in the meeting was in the meeting. He was a patient hearing and he was a patient hearing. He was a patient hearing and he was a patient hearing. और जैसे ही उसने हम लोग के अपॉइंटमेंट मांगा वो दिया था वैसे ही हम लोग ये प्रेजेंट प्राइम मिनिस्टर और तो ये मोदी जी हम लोग का अपॉइंटमेंट दे के सोच के उसके उम्मीद है हम लोग इसीलिए हम लोग इंतजार कर रहे हैं थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू डॉक्टर लोकेन और एक और थे केएच लोकेन सिंह जी Thank you, everybody. Before me, our senior leader, Dr. Michael Luang, already stated about the present scenario and the present situation. Still, we are very much hopeful. Our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Modi Ji, will give an appointment before visiting his foreign tour. He knows everything. Honorable Home Minister already apprised and many intelligence working there in Infal, Manipur, they have already reported to the Prime Ministers and Home Ministers. The Honorable Home Ministers knows everything. Still, we are very much hopeful. Honorable Prime Minister will give an appointment for us, all the 10 political party delegates here. We are here since 12 of this month and the last Six days we are here waiting. Thank you very much. I hope Honorable Prime Minister will give before. At that time, the Honorable Prime Ministers, those days I was a member, I was the MLA, the Atalji warmly welcomed us. He personally hearing what happened that time. Very personally hearing the considering all the grievances, whatever we put before him, Atalji did well and so happy. Like that, the Modiji will do. That time also, BJP government is here. Yet now also, BJP government is here. I hope the Modiji will give the definitely appointment before leaving India. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> Good question. Sir, the Union Home Minister Amit Shah when he visited Manipur, uh, on the third day when he did a press conference, in a very starting statement, he blamed the Manipur High Court for giving order in a hurry. And he said that because of this order, the entire violence erupted. My first question is, do these like-minded parties agree with the Home Minister's statement? My second question is, sir, whether... One question. Uh, uh, frankly speaking, uh, this is legal matter, and also somebody may say that it is uh, subjudice. It is not nice to discuss on before the press. But since 
Amit Shah, the Honorable Home Minister, has already been mentioned. He is not supposed to mention, I hope, because it is in the purview of the court. But uh, this is court, you know, when they appeal, there are some interested group who are the, from among the uh, ST should be included in the schedule of the ST, but but that is that is not you know, related with this incident. Frankly speaking, it is not related in this uh, incident. Yes, in a democratic country, there are somebody may like to uh, the Maite also should be included in the uh, schedule tribe list, but. In the rally of the Churasanpur district, that is peaceful rally. After completion of that rally, there are simultaneously why it is happened in the valley, but in the hilly and the hill. But it is sorry, he should not be, instead of mentioning that, he should be try to uh, contain peace as early as possible. There is only one reason why Manipur is burning. It is the ideology of the RSS and the politics of the BJP. That's the only reason. Everything else is a diversion from this basic fact. It's the RSS ideology and the BJP politics. And it's not just confined to Manipur. Other states of the Northeast are also facing huge issues. So I think, that, you know, whatever the Home Minister may say, this is the time for bringing peace and reconciliation. This is the time for dealing with all militant groups uncompromisingly. And this is really the time for abandoning the type of ideologies and politics that are dividing society, polarizing society, and using communities as vote banks. The delegation, in one kaha hai, the delegation emailed the request on the 10th of June. On the 12th of June, this is the stamp of the PM's office. On the 12th of June, a physical copy asking for an appointment was also handed over. So, as I said, all the members are eagerly awaiting this appointment before the Prime Minister leaves on the 20th. Prime Minister has shown a tendency of not speaking on issues which signifies his failure or whatever issues shows him in bad light. Do you think this is a democratic failure? No, no, I don't want to now go into the Prime Minister's psychology and his personality traits. Uh, why he is silent on China, you know, why he is silent on so many other issues that loss of employment, loss of jobs, why is he silent on the enormous hardship caused by demonetization. Most importantly, 19th of June, day after tomorrow, 19th of June, marks the third anniversary of his notorious statement na koi aya hai na koi betha hai this clean chit that he gave to china three years ago on the 19th of june 2020 so i don't want to get into that but i think uh, his clean chit has cost the country dearly in so far as china is concerned his continuing silence on Manipur is hurting the people of Manipur. You heard the former chief minister. Three times he has been chief minister. Fifteen years he has run the state of Manipur. You heard him say what the people of Manipur feel that the prime minister speaks on everything under the sun Prime Minister is going to lead the world in yoga, yoga asana on the 21st, but he doesn't have time to meet or speak or express something on Manipur. Of course, it reflects failure of governance. Sir, uh, sir, you have 
and it, it reflects a very perverse mindset, I'm afraid. I, sorry, I can't hear. So please, please repeat. Huh? That is up to the central government what kind of action they should have to be initiated. It is up to them. The, the delegation is also seeking time from the president. I have very shortly said. Prime Minister can solve it. If Prime Minister takes action, there will be peace within 24 hours. What action he takes will leap to the wisdom of Sri Modi ji. We will not very... <laughs> Thank you. We hope to meet you soon after their meeting with the Prime Minister. <laughs>